Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War simulation. This time around, I got the top 10 most popular kinds of liquor in the US, based them upon state popularity and plugged it in. So this is what the map looks like. As you can see, there are some big hitters, most notably being good old whiskey. All right, popular whether you're from the Southeast all the way to the Northwest. However, vodka, of course, pretty big. Um, their capital is going to be in Idaho, where all those potatoes are, which you make vodka out of. But it's also big um, in the Northeast, as well as Florida. Bourbon, uh, strictly Kentucky-type thing, being a favorite. Same with brandy up here in Wisconsin. I guess those Wisconsinites like their brandy. Uh, cognac, pretty big in the southeast and in Georgia and Maryland as well. You have scotch being the main hitter in Virginia, Kansas, and was this, New Hampshire or Vermont, whichever one of those it is. Uh, tequila, of course, pretty big in the southwest, all the way up to uh, California. You got absinthe being uh, the heavy hitter in Nevada. Uh, vermouth, all right, fan of the Mormons over there in Utah. And then finally, I have uh, Hawaii added in because they're the only state where rum is the favorite, uh, which I found actually fairly surprising. So, let me know in the comments right now what is your favorite type of liquor and are these liquor favorites by states accurate, all right? If you're in Kansas, is it brandy being number one? If you're in Nevada, is it truly absinthe, all right? Mississippi, is it cognac? Let me know below and let me know who you want to win and what liquor you despise. Let's get this going, all right? So obviously, I think uh, whiskey is going to have a pretty strong advantage. Same with probably tequila. Uh, tequila's trying to wrap around and get Hawaii's rum. All right, bourbon's fighting against whiskey right now. I think that's a pretty fair matchup. It looks like whiskey's going to suffocate bourbon uh, here pretty soon. Uh, absinthe and vodka going at it. Brandy's now going against whiskey up here as well. Um, Let's just speed this up a tad because they're, they're starting pretty slow this time. Uh, vermouth and absinthe going at it as well. Tequila's pushing into cognac territory in the south. All right, looks like absinthe um, struggling. But the first to fall was actually scotch. Whiskey was able to beat scotch. Um, absinthe now falling, same with bourbon. And cognac conquered by vodka. I guess Florida and North Carolina re uh, reached around and took out Atlanta. I didn't even see that because I was distracted with other things. Whoa. And now vodka beaten by whiskey. So whiskey the main hitter. Vermouth able to uh, grow a little bit. Uh, Brandy struggling to stay alive. They're all going to have to kind of team up against whiskey, I believe. Well, not Brandy because they're done. All right, now vermouth is uh, flooding into tequila. That's helping out rum expand. Rum's lucky they're on the Hawaii Island, so tequila's gone. All right, so it's vermouth, rum, brandy, or not brandy, whiskey. All right, rum's gone. Looks like vermouth was able to take over the Hawaii Islands. All right, I want to say vermouth or some shit like that, but I looked it up as vermouth. That's how they pronounce it. So, whiskey versus vermouth, all right? The favorite liquor of the Mormons versus the favorite liquor of America in general, all right? And it looks like whiskey may have this in the bag. Yes. So, first go around, whiskey is the sole uh, winner liquor in the U.S. I didn't have much of a doubt, all right? It's kind of what I expected, but... Um, we're going to run this up again just to see if the scenario is any different. All right. If you like this video so far, hit me with that like button. If you want to see more of these simulations, hit the subscribe button. Time to see if Whiskey can get two in a row and defend its crown. All right. So already Scotch beaten out. Brandy also beaten out. Whoa. Whiskey conquered by bourbon. Kentucky. Kentucky bourbon did the did the first push, so obviously this is going to greatly affect how things go. Cognac, once again, 
um, taken out by vodka. So, but this is huge. All right, now it's anyone's game with whiskey out of the picture. Bourbon really taking over the vodka lands. Okay, and vermouth pushing and um, taking out vodka. Wow. Wow, vermouth a, a tough, tough liquor to beat, I guess. I hate saying it because I still feel like I'm saying it wrong even though I looked it up. All right, but they're now flooding into the bourbon, which lost all of its economy. Meanwhile, you have Absinthe struggling to push them back as well. Tequila focusing all their attention on Hawaii, but they were able to wrap around and get this north northwest portion of the U.S., so good on Tequila for that. All right, oh, Vermouth collapsing. It looks like Tequila may take them out, and they do. Oh, now Absinthe surrounded, but now expanding quickly since Tequila lost all their economy. And now Bourbon doing a wraparound up here in the far north. Tequila expanded way too quickly. That's going to hurt them. Yep, Tequila is no more. So it's Absinthe, Bourbon, and then Rum still stuck on the Hawaii Islands trying to race to get any land, but they can't. But they have landed on the southwest shores of Absinthe. See if they can do anything with that. Absinthe pushing against Bourbon. Um, they're struggling to do anything. They're struggling to keep rum off of the mainland. Oh, rum is now in uh, part of former Texas. They're kind of just flooding into Absinthe now, who was too busy fighting Bur Both Absinthe and Bourbon have ran out of economy. Absinthe has fallen. Oh, rum being sneaky, waiting is able to take over America. All right, rum from Hawaii, able to just be opportunistic and take everyone out when the time was right. So those simulations were very different from each other. Whiskey, taking it out, um, being the winner first round. Rum actually getting a sneaky win here in round two. So obviously we have to do a round three to see if it's completely different again or if one of these can reclaim their crown, whether that be rum or whiskey. So let's restart this and see what happens. All right, who's your final bet on? All right, maybe you're a tequila fan and you're finally trying to win. Maybe you're scotch and trying not to get out very early once again. We'll see what happens. Rum is now the defending champion, though. Remember that. But whiskey still has something to prove. They can take back the crown. Okay, so what we've determined is scotch and brandy. Um, all right, they're not winning any civil wars. Scotch and brandy drinkers, they're just going to drink themselves to death. All right, and they ain't doing much fighting. They're just, they're doing the fighting for everyone, fighting themselves. All right, Vermouth, who's done pretty good. It looks like they're having a hard time expanding. Uh, Cognac able to re reach around and take out Whiskey. So, uh, maybe Whiskey's run in round one was a fluke. Vermouth taken out early this time, all right, for the first time. And then bourbon taken out by cognac. So maybe it's cognac's time to shine. All right. We'll see. It's can they stop vodka, who's taken them out both rounds before? Can they stop vodka? Absinthe is trying to push into vodka territory. Meanwhile, tequila slowly taking over some cognac territory. Oh, I didn't even see rum taken out by tequila easily this time. So the defending champion no longer. So this simulation much different as well. Cognac pushing out vodka from Appalachia and Florida. Looks like they're going to be successful with that. And then uh, Absinthe doing the rest of the job before getting taken out by tequila. So now it's Cognac versus tequila. All right. A big city drink versus a desert drink. All right. If I have to uh, put locations on the map for them. When I think of Cognac, I think of the city. When I think of tequila, I think of the desert. And it looks like... Cognac may take out tequila. All right. They may finish the job for the final round. Your winner is Cognac. So, wow, all three of those simulations were very different. All right. The most popular whiskey winning in round one. Um, rum able to somehow take over America. 
from Hawaii's starting point in round two, and then you have Cognac battling everyone off and winning here in round three in probably the quickest match. The only things that stayed certain was that Scotch and Brandy just couldn't do a freaking thing. So, uh, without further ado, y'all, if you like that simulation, again, hit me with the like button. If you want to see more, join the Southern Woods community and hit that subscribe button. Um, and give me suggestions if you want to see more simulations on Ages of Conflict. Um, without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.